You'll never guess where my husband took me today. Oh, this is my living room. Never mind. <laughs> today, we're going to do shout outs, but first, car stuff. Really? Car stuff. Who really? would have thought it? Car stuff. Why? It's kind of what we're about. Oh, okay. Car stuff. So if you're here and you don't want to talk about car stuff, you might want to run along. <laughs> uh, big, first, we have car news. Big three automakers last week. Ford increased the production of its Lincoln Navigator. Why? Don't know. I've never dreamed of owning the Lincoln Navigator. Has anybody ever wanted a Lincoln Navigator? I mean, Somebody has to. What do you want from Ford? Mustang. Yeah, there you go. Increase the production of Mustang, Ford. Come on. Uh, Give us something we want. Oh, and Ford. Ford warns 2006 Ranger owners, stop driving. That's right. I'm, I'm not kidding. Ford said 2006 Ford Ranger drivers, stop. Stop driving. Yeah, they should. You, yeah, they, they want you to go to the local dealer and get your Takata airbags replaced because of the recall on the Takata airbags. So, unless you want to be just smacked in the face with an airbag, you might want to take your Ranger and get that fixed. Any excuse. Yeah. Any excuse. Yeah. And, and, and it... it I mean, really, who wants to be just, like, smacked in the face with an airbag? And and they have to breathe all that white dust and everything, and, and the thing comes up and busts your windshield. Just, just, yeah, it's not a good thing. So, GM. GM is working on their self-driving car again. No. Mm-hmm, yep. And they're catching up with Tesla and Google. So, why are people just that lazy? So we can live stream in the car while the car drives itself. But, but, but that's but a GM, so I don't know how that's going to help us. I mean, my, I what? Unless they're going to retrofit our Corvette. All right, you think that we could get a some kind of self-driving upgrade on our '85 Corvette? No. <laughs> <laughs> We'd rather be riding the Mustang anyway. Yeah. So, what else? Oh, GM sold two vets at auction, Barrett Jackson Auction, and they raised over $2.3 million for our veterans. Yay. So, that's a vet for a vet? Yes, it is. And that is also the name of one of our videos, so might want to check that out. Now, Dodge and Mopar. For you guys in the Mopar community, Dodge and Mopar. The Dodge SRT Bondurant. I am butchering the name of that place. Uh, drag Racing School. $2,000 for non-owners. Wow. But it's free for demon owners. Apparently, Dodge has realized that the demons are so powerful you had better get some training they gonna give it to you for free in order to be able to use that thing dangerous good reason good good name for it so check contact Dodge for details because this disclaimer here we're, we're complete idiots and we shouldn't be doing the news and we're doing it anyway so every piece of information you get from us just assume it's wrong <laughs> and and you'll be okay. Because we looked it up on the internet. Well, that and that what all the other news organizations do. <laughs> so, anyhow, the good ones anyway. Anyhow, Challenger sales are up 18%. Yeah, with Hellcats out there running around. I wonder why. I wonder why people want Challengers now. No, no. Challengers. Sales up 18%. I want a Mustang. And Mustang sales are down. Camaro sales are down. 
Hmm. Note to Ford and GM might want to look into that. Look at what Mopar's doing. People like it. So, what did we do last week? It's time. We went to this place and that place, and we saw this and we saw that. It's time for St. Auto News. But first, a shout out to TubeBuddy and Haggerty. Without TubeBuddy and Haggerty, we, it would be much harder for us to do this and go out and share all these nice classic vehicles with you and show cars and stuff. We Don't use, forget Allstate. Right, Allstate. Um, TubeBuddy, if you don't have TubeBuddy already, click the link in our description and go at least get the free version of TubeBuddy. That way you can try it out first before you can, but man, I'm telling you, nine bucks a month for the paid version, I mean, it's great. It's just great. It's going to make things so much easier. You're not going to know. It's a mod for your computer. You know, you, you spend a lot more than that for a mod for your car to make it go faster. Well, this is going to make you go faster and all your stuff so much easier. So get that too, buddy. Link in the description. Just click it and go for it. And Don't and, be afraid. Don't be scared. And if you, if you really need Haggerty or Allstate for your car's home, Check Life, with her. Anything. Just contact her. Absolutely. Yeah. Contact her. The uh, the Haggerty that she hook you up with. Yeah. Then you won't be afraid to drive your classic car. Now, moving on. St. Auto News. We promised you St. Auto News, and we're going to give it to you. What were we doing last week? Well, last Sunday we were doing this. We were doing live broadcast. Only terribly. We did it terribly. We're still doing it terribly. All the bloopers are included. <laughs> hey, Johnny Pro, how are you doing? Did you miss the Mopar news or how long have you been here? Did, did you get to see the Mopar news? So last Sunday we were doing live here. And then on Monday, we released the video from the World of Wheels 2018. It's a 2010 Ferrari California. So if you want to see that, that uh, video is still up, of course. We released it Monday. Johnny Pro says he did not miss the news. Well, this is, okay, good. Good deal. Now, we have on Tuesday, we released the video of the 05 Bentley. Continental, and that's a Grand Tour. <clears throat> that was the first Bentley that they had any kind of mass production on, and it seriously increased their their the number of vehicles that they produce. Uh, Wednesday we did another live stream because we're we're having to learn and figure out, so we need the practice. Thursday. You did a live stream. That's that true. You were selling Haggerty. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get to that in stats, what she was doing, uh, because that will be included in our stats, part of the news, the St. Auto News. Now, moving on to Thursday, we were back to releasing videos, because we did not do a live stream. We did a 1957 Bel Air Lowrider. Now, this is owned by a famous ball player, so you need to watch that video if you want to see who he is and what vehicle he has. And it has a lot of engraved chrome on it. It's very nice. Very oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm not particularly fond of Bel Airs, but this one is awesome. Yeah, it is, it is a great one. Now... Friday, oh, uh, Friday, we did a tribute to Phil. As we lost one of our own. And uh, I, I encourage you to see that, and know who Phil is, and how, how close he was, and how important he was to us, and everybody in the car community. 
Um, yeah, he actually ran the shop for me for a number of years. He was the manager at the shop, and we were going through four to 600 units a year. On top of that, we were fixing up cars to sell, uh, which that was another 12 to 13 vehicles per year on top of the four to 600 customer cars. 12 bays hopping all the time. And then on top of that, uh, we'd do one or two show cars. Well, not show cars. It, it, restorations or resurrections. Uh, not necessarily show cars. Sometimes one of them would end up making it nice enough to be a show car. He drove the old uh, Ford Fairmont, in case you remember that. And when he didn't have that, he had the Dodge van, the big Dodge van. He'd go with us on the in the big red. And when are we having pickup. his memorial? That will be Thursday, this coming Thursday, 12 to 2 p.m. at the shop building in Anybody Chattanooga. Anybody who wants to show up with a classic or a show car or just a project car, right? More yeah, than welcome um, to show tribute to Phil. Yeah, it'd be like an informal cruise in. Uh, if you come, try to bring like a two liter bottle or a bag of chips or something because it's going to be a budget type thing. His, he didn't have any cash. His, 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 his wife can't, couldn't even afford to do a memorial. We've got a, a preacher who's going to say a few words. It, it's kind of, it's just going to be something in the old shop. All right. Um, Moving on, we're uh, now our stats. Our stats are looking great, so we've got a lot to be thankful for, uh, for the support of the community. Everyone's been uh, really supporting each other, and I don't know if you've seen the Facebook group or not, but if you go to, well, there's several Facebook groups. Now, our, our mastermind group is Sane, Sane Enterprises on Facebook. We also have a page, Sane Auto and Car Show Cars of North Georgia, all, all on Facebook. And you can check those out where we talk about what's going popular on with the car food. community. Hello, Popular Food and M Trunk 85. Good to see you here. Johnny Pro still with us. Awesome. We have done. Uh, big three car news from Ford, GM, and Dodge, and we moved on to um, the uh, Sane Auto news, what we did last week, each one of the videos we did every day. Oh, one thing I missed with Sane Auto news is that we have met and exceeded the 200 challenge. We have done over 200 videos in 200 days. As a matter of fact, there was a week there that we did two videos per day because we had so many requests from people's cars that we were filming and they wanted to see their video very quickly. So that was during the height of the show car season and we were doing a lot of filming. So we went ahead and did two videos per day for over a week at that time. Went back to doing at least one video a day. And we've done well over 200 videos in 200 days. So as far as uh, continuing to do that, uh, no, especially this week with the memorial and everything going on, uh, organizing that. And I will be in Atlanta one day this week as well. So this will probably be the first week that we don't do a video every day. Uh, or who knows? We'll see. But we'll definitely be doing more of this live stuff and more of the car news and car discussion. We have uh, the stats on the St. Auto page. We have, with the help of everybody in the community, we have over half a million views now. Yay. We have today, today, right before we went live, hit a thousand subscribers. Okay, and who's our thousand? Our one thousand subscriber is just a stang. That's his his page name, and he has a Facebook 
page called Captain Redbeard Racing. His YouTube channel is just a stain. And he's that got a pretty our 1, mustache. thousandth subscriber. Yeah, his most of his videos, you know, like we, we like to do the walk arounds and the reviews and, and the history of the cars and that kind of thing. Um, it seems to be mostly drag racing on his page. So you want to see some smoking tires and stuff like that. Um, either that, and of course, a lot of the Mopar guys have a lot of the smoking tire stuff too. So, Johnny Pro, yes. Thank you for the congratulations and popular food. Now we have, as far as watch time is concerned, we've been asked about this multiple times by people offering to help out with that, which we really appreciate, but we are doing really good on watch time. It's 329,000 minutes for the last 365 days. We're not looking at the lifetime because, according to YouTube, the lifetime amount of watch time doesn't doesn't matter. They don't care about that anymore. They're only looking at your last 365 days, and they want that 4,000 hours every last 365 days. So you have to continually be getting watch time. Hours 329,000 minutes. That translates to over 5,000 hours of watch time. So thank you guys so much. For watching so much. That has put us well over the, the needed limit of watch hours. And it's climbing. If you look at the graph, it's just climbing and climbing and climbing. Our watch hours are climbing. And also in St. Auto News this past week, Carol has sold seven insurance policies this week. She still consistently outsells Everyone in the office, and when I say everyone in the office, I don't mean every individual in the office. The entire crew in the office combined it doesn't sell as many policies. As she <laughs> so I'm just good. Super seller right here. And when we launch the Sane Enterprises page, it's going to be nothing but sales advice and management advice and self-help advice from a couple of people that actually lived it. You know, we didn't just read the books, which we have. We've read all those books too. And we've been to all those seminars and stuff. But we've actually put this stuff into practice, building businesses and growing Successful businesses. Successful businesses. Successful businesses, absolutely. You know, we don't make quite as much money as we did before. <laughs> so, we're, But we've been there. And we've had the failures and everything else. So we will be talking about that on St. Enterprises channel. And so if you need any help with that or you have anything to add to that kind, those kind of subjects, uh, be looking forward to that. We'll be over there doing that. Here, we're going to continue to do the car stuff. This is our fun channel for cars we love. Now, shout outs. We promised at the beginning, we said we're going to do this first, but then we're going to get to the shout outs. Shout outs for James Cox, of course. He's still trying to help out a lot in the community. RT Life, center of and pillar of the Mopar community. Just a Stang, of course, for being our 1,000th subscriber. And shout outs to everybody here. Johnny Pro for being here. Thank you. The first one in the chat, as a matter of fact, Johnny Pro. And M Truck. Nope, I, I'm sorry. M Trunk. <laughs> Called you M Truck. I'm sure you've got a truck though, don't you? M Trunk 85. Popular food. It's hashtag popular food. And Frog Tech Tips. I wanted to give a shout out for Frog Tech Tips. Frog Tech Tips pointed out that I had too many hashtags. Cup of Spring just joined us. Hello, Cup of Spring. Now, Frog Tech Tips pointed out that it had too many hashtags in my descriptions. And now I've got a pretty consistent stuff that I put in my descriptions below where I go through the information about whatever vehicle we're featuring or whatever history there is about that vehicle. And then I usually have my hashtags at the bottom. <clears throat> he pointed out there are way too many hashtags. And I did look up 
what he was talking about in the terms of services, and he was right. There's too many hashtags, and they have to be on topic, or you're in violation of the terms of service. Also, the other thing that he pointed out was that too many hashtags or hashtags that are a little bit off topic actually hurt your SEO efforts. And I do a lot of SEO work on the videos, which apparently does help because I have so much watch time. And I don't think I would have nearly that much watch time if I wasn't two things. They're really contributing to that watch time. Uh, lots of uploads, lots of videos. The consistent, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Content. Content, yes, very good. Thank you. I, I left my coffee in the microwave. I need it or my brain doesn't work. Consistent content in the video so that y'all know what to expect and you get what you expect. When you go to look at my videos, you okay. get what you're M looking for. Trunk says yes, so I'm assuming he does have a truck. <laughs> you be, feel free to tell us what kind of truck you have, M Trunk. So we've got uh, the hashtags. So I went back and I took a lot of the hashtags off and I'm going through video after video removing some of those hashtags. We'll talk about some of this stuff sometimes here until we get that St. Enterprises page going. But once we got that St. Enterprises page going, we'll be talking about almost nothing but car stuff here. And we'll talk about these hashtags and growing the channel and stuff over there. But for right now, um, this could help everybody. If you're putting hashtags in your description, you can have no more than 15. So I cut back to 14 just to be safe. And make sure they have, they're have relevant to the content that's in your video. Now, of course, all my hashtags had something to do with cars. But it wasn't necessarily the same car that was in the video. So what I did was I went back and I cut down the number of hashtags that I had and I made sure that they all said something similar to the very car that was in that video so that they're very relevant. Yeah. You trying to get down here to see yeah. M Trunks next? There we go. So the point is, if you're got, if you've been making the same mistake that I have on your hashtags and your descriptions, then make sure you correct that because you, like myself, could be in violation of terms of service. A Chevy Duramax 3500. Awesome. That's a truck. That's Just a, a truck. little one. <laughs> So um, I'm guessing that you're towing something to have a truck that big, like maybe one of your cars or something. Now let us know what your dream car is and guess what my dream car is. Yes, I do have 14 hashtags under the video, Cup of Spring. I did have quite a few more though than that, and I do on some of the older videos. I'm going to have continue to go back through and cut the rest of them down to uh, 14 because the, the limit is 15, and I wanted to stay below that in case I make a mistake and put an extra one in there. I'm still below the limit. Slashmaster1989, welcome. Johnny Pro says, I would like a 69 Charger with a 426. Wow, yeah. I was just, when I was looking up something <laughs> for the news, for the for the Dodge and Mopar news, uh, I ran across a couple of pictures of the, the, uh, the Chargers, the 69 Chargers. And, man, I tell you what, those, that is still a beautiful, beautiful car. And just one of the best styled vehicles, best looking 
body styles, even now all the way into 2018, that has ever been made. Now that's a, it, is it. Is that not the same body style? This 60, I think it was a 68 that was in there, the bullet. Because Ford, I don't know why I didn't have this in the Ford News. The Ford News, they've, they've come out with a 2018 bullet. And they have found the original bullet from the movie and they had a display where they had the new bullet and the actual bullet from the movie Mustang side by side and <clears throat> I believe uh, that Mopar in that movie was the same body style but either way it was a correct lights. one was it awesome thank you Johnny Pro letting us know it had different tail lights but it it just just nice nice cars one of these days we're gonna have like we're gonna get a screen and put it behind us and so that when we're going through stuff like this I would like to be able to put up clips of stuff like that car chase in the bullet movie to play behind us well right now they just have to put up with me sneaking my stuffed animals in the display case yeah, can anybody see the new stuffed animal she's put back there? No, your head's covering them up. Is it really? Yeah. Let's look and see. But some. it's Victor I and... I move over a little bit. It's Victor and Carol. No, that's a treaty. <laughs> see, now for us, there's lag on the screen. So... Every time we do something, we see it a few couple seconds later. And it looks weird. Yeah. Too much glare. Okay. I wonder where the glare is coming from. I don't know. Maybe the light. Maybe. What? Oh, too much glare in the in the in cabinet. The it's probably because we have that a lot of light coming from that window over there where I pulled those curtains back, and we have more sunlight today than we usually do. There they are. The twins. This one is smaller. She's Carol. And this one is Victor. Alright dudes, y'all are going to have to move. Because I got CRS. <laughs> and I have to have my cheat sheet. Okay, next. Let's see. Oh, let me go move that curtain a little bit so we get rid of some of this glare. In the meantime, y'all let us know. What was your favorite past car? The past car that you owned in the past that was your favorite? Mine was my 64 and a half Mustang. Hard top. Mantata TV. Hey, you made it to 1,000. Cool, yes. And Slashmaster1989 wants to know what our favorite car of all time. Ew, that's a hard question for me because I like so many of them. It's easy for me. You could even answer that one for me. What, a 64 and a half Mustang? Any Mustang. True. Well, I'm partial to my Mustang, but that's kind of biased because I have that 72 Mach 1 with the 351 Cleveland Cobra Jet in it. And you can see uh, that on some of my videos. I'm going to make a better video of it one day. I've just been concentrating on everybody else's cars, trying to help them get some exposure because I know how much work there is in, in building one of these cars or restoring one of these cars. Uh, it's just it's so much work. And 
but then it, the ones I have right now, that is definitely my favorite. That is my 72 Mach 1. Now, in the past, um, one of my favorites was in high school, I had a 71 Cougar XR7. You remember writing that. Yeah. And it had 351 Cleveland in it. I think that was one of my favorite cars. But it's because I was in it with you. Maybe. And we were teenagers. Welcome to the group, Mantata TV. And, and um, Cup thanks. of Springs says Mustang is a great car. Thanks for congratulating us on our thousandth. Yeah, and uh, our 1,000th subscriber was just a stang. So, there's just a stang on YouTube. And he is, uh, why am I saying us so much? Facebook Captain because, Redbeard uh, Racing. Yeah, I watched that guy the other day. I was studying, doing live. And I was watching this guy the other day, doing live. And he's got like a million subscribers. And it's like every fourth word was uh. And I've been trying to shake that ever since. And so I'm not watching his stuff anymore. We got the support of, I can't read it, my Mantata TV. Mantata TV. Thank you. Or I think, no, that was somebody else supporting Mantata TV. So we probably do as well, though. Slashmaster1989 has a 2015 Cadillac CTS. Wow. Now, there's a few special features of the CTS you don't get on the normal Cadillac. You feel like sharing Slashmaster? And what, what type of engine do you have in there? Do you know what the horsepower specs are and all that kind of stuff? <clears throat> And while Slashmaster's working on that, the rest of you guys, what town are you in? I'll go first. We are in Dalton, Georgia right now. And the last video we filmed where we're showing you the big car collection, or Carol My was showing you the car collection. My antique shopping spree, which reminds me, I did find something awesome in that. Um, we were looking around and I found a one section that had some boots. Well, she tells you about that. I'm getting my coffee. And, well, the boots were all, all laid out. Saw a couple of pairs that I like. One of them was a Timberland steel toe. Um, got it for $10, brand new. So, I was really excited about that. And, why, thanks, Joe, Josie, um, couldn't have done it without you guys, really. One thing we failed to mention in the news was it was at times. No, no, I'm drawing a blank. Josie just showed up and he's just congratulated us. All right. Hello, Josie. Now. Who all still here? We have, let me open this up a little bit so I can see everybody that's here. We have M Trunk 85. We have Joe Z. Cup of Spring. We have people helping each other out in the chat. I like that. Good, good job, guys. Help each other out. Heck yeah. We all need to get up to a thousand. We do that in on our Facebook page, 
Sane Enterprises. So that is, if you want to be included in that, you'll have to send me a message on Facebook. I'm, of course, Victor Sane and Carol Sane. And we are not hard to find. <laughs> we Actually, have... my Facebook is Carol Segura Sane. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have in the house. Hashtag popular food, Joe Z, Slashmaster 1989, M Trunk 85, my personal favorite, Cup of Spring, Mantata TV, Johnny Pro. Johnny Pro was here first. He gets the distinction of being, he was first in the chat. And we know what kind of car he's got. He's got a Mopar. And we still have not released the best video we got at the 2018 World of Wheels. Oh, yeah. Because it's taking a while to edit that one out. But it's going to be worth it. And it is a Mopar. Definitely, definitely a Mopar. Mm -hmm. And if you're just getting... And just here, a hint. It's green. <laughs> That's true. It is very green. Unless you make it mad, and then the headlights turn red. You don't want the headlights to turn red. <laughs> you wouldn't like it when it's angry. Yeah. <laughs> but all other times, you really like it. So, uh, Johnny Pro uh, let us know that we had too much glare a while ago. And I did do something with the curtains over there, so I'm hoping that took care of the glare, but y'all let us know. Do we still have too much glare? Are we doing good? Now, a recap of some of the news. If you're just getting here, we went over the big three car news. The, the Ford had increased the production of the Lincoln Navigator. I For still what don't reasons, understand we don't know. why. No. And the Ford warned that 2006... Ford oh, Rangers. Thanks, popular food. I think so, too. Ford wants to warn 2006 Ford Ranger owners, stop driving. You're a menace to society. Well, <laughs> no, really. They want you to come in and get your airbags replaced. GM. Yeah, because you could get smacked in, in the, the face. face with an airbag. Ugh. Now, self-driving cars, the GM self-driving cars are catching up with Tesla and the Google cars. Chevrolet sold two vets at the Barrett-Jackson auction, raising over $2 million for military veterans. And that and, is awesome. Yes, it is. That is a vet for a vet. We, we definitely, yeah. We have a lot of veterans in our family. Absolutely. Kids, military brats, my, my son Parents, went grandparents, off. uncles, everybody. <sighs> Every branch. <laughs> Dodge, Mopar, Dodge SRT, Bondurant Drag Racing School. $2,000 for non-owners, free for demon owners. Contact Dodge for details. Challenger sales are up 18%. Um, our St. Auto News videos we did Sunday, we did the live. Monday, we did the 2010 Ferrari California. Tuesday, we were all about that 2005 Bentley Continental Grand Tour. Wednesday, we're experimenting with live stream again and getting some more practice so we get better at it. We still terrible, but y'all put up with us, so hey, that's great. Thank you for putting up with us. Thursday, 1957, Bel Air Lowrider. And then Friday, we did tribute to Phil. Again, anybody who wants to come out and just help out with the tribute, bring your yep, cars we will out. We'll be at the shop we'll Thursday. Be at the shop Thursday. 12 to 245. We're going to have a little impromptu memorial. We have a preacher coming. Uh, anybody wants to bring a two liter or a bag of chips. Yeah, that would help. Unfortunately, his wife 
wasn't able to do anything and we're trying to do something. Yeah, we do not want any of our guys to go unnoticed and with any, without any kind of... Uh, you know, just let us get write, it, write us in the comments of, of a video. Mm -hmm. Hit us up on Facebook if you're interested. Alright, so uh, Saturday we took y'all with us on a visit to a car collection in Tunnel Hill. And our stats, with all the help of all the community, everybody pitching in, everybody helping each other out, including helping us, we have over half a million views. We have just hit 1,000 subscribers today. And just a stang was our 1,000th subscriber. We have 329 thousand minutes of watch time in the last 365 days which equates to over 5,000 hours the limit that needed is 4,000 hours top travel vlog just showed up eight top eight. travel vlog eight congrats uh, how are you doing today yeah, it is it, I, as strange as it may seem Thanks the only reason for I, can, up. I don't I don't have to count the things and I just it's eight it's because of Lincoln Continental Mark 8. <laughs> One of the doctors used to stitch me up as a kid. That's what he drove. You see, it was such a frequent flyer. There was a couple of times he came out to the house to stitch me up. So, Dr. Gork. Lincoln yeah, Continental I, Mark 8. I was, I was along for the ride on one of those. Yeah, I was still getting stitches when I met you in a, my there poor was a mama. Brief my time. poor mama actually literally went and went to nursing school, and that was my fault. <laughs> so I was constantly getting into trouble. Um, Trump. Jim Trunk is leaving us. Uh, Thank you for, for showing, showing up, up, M Trunk. It was nice having you here, M Trunk eighty five. It was good to see you. Come back anytime. Now, Carol sold seven insurance policies this last week, more than anyone else in the office, more than everyone in the office combined. And we did shout outs to James Cox, RT Life, Frog Tech Tips, Just to Stang. And our viewer questions today are what is your dream car? What is your favorite past car? And what town are you in? We are in Dalton, Georgia right now. And you have to guess be, what my favorite car is. And I will be in Atlanta Tuesday. If and I will you, be in Chattanooga on Thursday. If you have watched any of our videos, you should figure out which car is my favorite. Yeah, it's probably pretty obvious. And we would like to thank, again, TubeBuddy for making everything that has anything to do with the channel and the videos and the information on the videos. I use TubeBuddy a lot for almost everything I do and it makes everything so much easier and it's very cheap and they even still have a free version in case you want to try out the free version first and the link is in the description you don't even have to hunt it up you just go to the description and you click on the link in the description it says I use TubeBuddy now you can use TubeBuddy too and then there's a link it is an affiliate link it doesn't cost you any more but it does help support our channel and we would appreciate it if you use our link instead of just going on your own which is easier so and Haggerty we'd like to thank Haggerty Haggerty is one of the underwriters insurance that Carol sells and it helps pay a lot of our bills. Yeah, a lot. That's the one thing I forgot to mention in the St. Auto News. For also, the past week. we have to remember Allstate. Yes, Allstate. If it wasn't for Allstate, she wouldn't be able to sell Haggerty. homeowners insurance and life insurance. Yep, and all that other stuff. So, 
the thing I forgot to mention on the St. Auto News was, did I lose it again? Uh, I had it in my Josie, head. Josie, just ask you a question about TubeBuddy. Is that free version for a trial period? That is a very good question. I'm glad you asked that because no, it's not. As a matter of fact, it's, it's just an unlimited time. You can do that free version and use that free version for as long as you want. I used it for over a year. And so, now, I mean, it's I just will like, tell you that you can do a lot more with the paid version than you can with the free version, but the mm -hmm. free version is good too. And it's great for starting out if you don't know what TubeBuddy is and you've never used it before. I am a licensed agent. Yes, she is licensed agent. So, um, so if you need anything yeah, that, in Georgia, Tennessee, or Alabama, as far as insurance, I've got you covered. Just hit me up and, and we'll take care of it. Like we do with the channel here, any money that we get from the channel, we put back into more equipment and stuff, and which is, we're still having to put a lot of our own money into it, but that's how we ended up upgrading to the Nikon camera. This is why it's so important for people to stick together and help each other out with their channels because these things aren't free. And then, you know, we have to get extra memory cards and right now we're saving up to get some more external hard drives because we've got so much video and stuff we need to be able to save that. It's either that or pay a subscription fee for cloud to hold all the photos and the videos and stuff and that is all in way in excess of the amount of money we make from TubeBuddy right now. Josie, anytime. So then right now some of the money from her insurance sales and stuff we're having to use for the channel to support the channel because of course the webcam we're using that's not free the laptops getting really old so we're eventually going to have to to do something about that. All that costs money. And then, so that's it, why it's, it's really important for people to stand up for each other that have the small channels. Because they need all the same stuff too. And if they take monetization away well, from everybody. Uh, M truck, it is a lot of hard work. Um, I can tell you he is up sometimes until 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. Plus it actually cuts into our income because I run a worldwide parts company that pays the bills and stuff and property taxes on my building and stuff in Chattanooga so we don't have a tenant right now. We lost our tenant so we don't have the income from the, the rent of the building right now. And <clears throat> So anytime I'm not doing the parts and, and putting more and more parts on the internet, that's less and less money we make. So but we have to we have to keep faith that this is gonna pay off in the long run. As a matter of fact, this is the first day we have had super chats enabled. And I enabled that today and that became available to us because we met the minimum requirements for being able to use that and luckily we're still able to use live because there are minimum requirements for being able to use live uh, which was one of the things we we're afraid we might lose if we didn't meet that 1000 subscribers and we all need to keep in mind that once you hit the 1000 you need to keep going you need to stay active in the community and you need to keep trying to get subs because you need a buffer zone there because YouTube keeps taking subscribers away and if you're not looking at who you subscribe to and seeing if you're still subscribed you won't notice there's been several people this last week that I've noticed I had to subscribe again a second or a third time even though I watched the whole video and stuff and that a lot of them I watched a second or third video because I like the content on their channel so much I wanted to see. Johnny Pro just asked what Super Chat was. Um, at the bottom of the screen where you see where you can see the 
live chat at the very bottom of the screen there's a little happy face and then there's a little uh, money symbol cash symbol if you click the cash symbol it asks you like an amount or something and you can give like uh, five dollars or whatever amount you want to ten dollars whatever as a super chat and then that puts your chat message at the very top and pins it at the top for a certain amount of time where everybody has to see your chat for a certain amount of time that way you get a little bit more exposure people see you more and you give more support to the channel but yeah most of all you give support to the channel and that money we put back into like I said uh, these uh, just what SD we cards uh, um, we put it towards we're, we're saving up to get a ex another external hard drive because I've been using the regular external hard drives the spinny type that have the spinning thing in there and they die after a while and I've got to save up and get a solid state external hard drive um, I've upgraded one time on the tube buddy so thanks I've got it I think I've seen that before yeah yeah you do and one of the things some people do is they give channel reviews for people that do super chats and we are planning on doing that too looking at people's channels anybody gives a super chat we're gonna do the we're gonna look at their channel right here on the live and go over what we see on their channel we're gonna do a, a channel review so anyhow. just kind of a way to give people a, a different perspective and just a reminder anybody that's in the chat right now uh, questions of the week are what's your dream car what's your favorite past car the car that you owned in the past that was your favorite and what town are you in so yeah. and, and obviously any questions that you have would be glad to answer And last week, most of the videos we did were from the 2018 World of Wheels. Oh, and are there any requests for upcoming videos? That would be interesting to see. Yes, and another thing, we ran into and met the owner. We have a playlist called Random Exciting Vehicles. No, it's Random ex Exciting Vehicles. Yeah, we were going to make it random interesting vehicles, but that would be RIV, RIV, and which is very close to the name of the uh, playlist by Thoughty2, which is a bigger channel, mm. and he's got a lot of good content stuff, but um, it's not automotive at all. But random exotic vehicles or random whatever with an E is REV. <laughs> So we thought that would be better, and we settled on Rev, and that's the name of our play playlist, Rev, Random Exotic Vehicles. And one of the vehicles that we filmed that we ran across just at random was a Bumblebee. Rumblebee. Rumblebee. Rumblebee, Sorry. which was is is a play on, Mopar did this on the Bumblebee, but it's a truck. So it's called the Rumblebee because it's not the car, it's the truck. And... Yeah, I do the same thing. I keep wanting to call it a, a well, bumblebee I, I because that's what I'm used to. And, oh, it, well, and and this is a rumblebee because it's a truck and it's got the SRT package. It's well, they came in yellow and black, but there were only two years of them. And this guy has the yellow one with the black stripe. And we filmed it, but we didn't get to meet him at that time. And then the other day we ran across the truck again and he just happened to be there loading up groceries so we got to meet him and we told him to check us out on YouTube he just happens to be a huge YouTube fan yeah he had already been watching our videos and stuff didn't had no idea he was on our channel that, yeah. he was kinda excited about that 
So, and we have the upcoming, the big Mopar video that we're doing from the 2018 World of Wheels with the very strong green Mopar that you don't want to make mad. I love that car. That is that is a really cool car. It sure, oh, is. we have filmed yeah. that car before, but we not all our footage was good. Like I said, we we're upgrading our equipment, and sometimes things go wrong, and sometimes things get corrupted. We got to get better stuff, and this time we got a lot more video in case some of it was bad. We'd still, and we're going to combine the two, the some of the video from before and the video we got this year. And we got a lot of interaction with the owner. So we got a lot more information on the vehicle this time. And he does interior work too. So he did all the interior work himself on this vehicle. And it looks great. It is, it is an awesome vehicle. Any questions from viewers this week about what we did last week on the channel, what we're planning on doing next week on the channel? Uh, what are we planning on doing next? We're going to do the big video for the Mopar we just mentioned. And we're going to get better prepared for next week's live stream so we can make it better again. Hanna Hoffren, welcome to the chat. And Is it Hanu or Hanna? I'd be happy with a Mustang. Favorite car is an older 124 Hull 3 liter 24 valve Mercedes. Cheers from Cupio, Finland, and congrats. Passing one day. Thank you. Um. Well, I would be happy with any Mustang, too, except for the 72 through 80. Now, the, the Mercedes, I have to admit, I'm a little lacking in some of the knowledge of some of the Mercedes, especially the newer ones. And this is especially embarrassing because one of the transmission shops that I opened up and ran for a while, I took it from zero to 24000 a month. Oh, wow. You just got a Star Wars uh, reference, sweetie. <laughs> my Han Solo is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> and then new for this year, I have R2-D2. On the canopy of our bed. Thank you. This is like this big R2-D2. Yeah, also one of my favorite Larsa. characters. Because he's the mechanic that saves everybody. And, uh, but, yeah, the Mercedes, see this transmission shop I opened was in, I had been working at a GM dealership. And I opened up this place for the owner of the dealership in the old Mercedes building, which gave me nine bays. And I started out with four guys. And we went from zero to within three months, we were doing 24000 a month. Of course, by then, it was just me and one other guy. The others had figured out it was work and quit. <laughs> Some people just can't handle being burnt, bruised, and bleeding on every single job several well, times a day. I don't like you to be burnt, bruised, and bleeding either. Your well, blood needs to stay on the inside. I've told you this from the time we were 18. <laughs> well, I try to keep it in there, but it just keeps coming out. But I don't do that much anymore anyway. Of the burnt, bruised, and bleeding. Now yeah, that I've got, I hold my breath every time he grabs a wrench. It's, it's something. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons why we do this more, and I do the, sell the parts more nowadays. But the Mustangs now, ask us, ask us stuff about Mustangs. <laughs> 
not a lot about Mercedes. I did have a good, nice Mercedes what one time. What do you think, Johnny Pro? Do you think uh, he should keep his blood on the inside? <laughs> the Mercedes I had, Hanu Hoffren, the Mercedes I had was a 95 diesel, and it got like 34 miles to the gallon. It could literally go over 800 miles on a tank full. So, thanks, Johnny. <laughs> well, my my worst problem with when the blood comes out is that you can't put it back in. No, that's my problem. No, it's that did I lose some more of my coffee when the blood comes out? Oh, and I just realized too, my. My, I'm using my R2D2 coffee cup today. So since since we had the Star Wars reference already, and this in YouTube, you better not hit me with some violation of stupid terms and conditions or what is it? Copyright violation? Yeah, don't tempt me with no copyright violation because I showed off a R2 Star Wars coffee cup. So, <laughs> well, you can have one, but you just can't have mine. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll be able to hook you up with a St. Auto coffee cup. You should go get your R2-D2 and show them what you got for Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah. I had to look everywhere. I had no idea what to get him for his for Valentine's Day. I had no clue. I said, "What am I going to get him?" And I Blam! found it. And it says I don't know if you can read it, but it says you're the OB one for me. <laughs> Cue the epic Star Wars music. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, and that re that reminds me, uh, Saint Auto Page News. We should include that one of the things that we plan on doing is adding sound effects and we'll be looking online for sound effects and stuff to put in between the segments of our live feed so that we're going when we're starting out with the car news for the big three car news and we're going through Ford news and GM news and and Dodge Mopar news in between segments we can have some kind of sound effects to help liven it up a little bit make it a little bit more interesting and then, of course, we'll still be doing shout-outs for TubeBuddy because they have been such a big help in everything we've done on the channel. And Haggerty. And because without them, a lot of the stuff that we have bought and used to make the content, we wouldn't have if it wasn't for, the, for Haggerty. And, they, and Allstate. And Allstate. He forgets Allstate. But all state they, that actually more those than are that. my house policies, my renters policies. Mm -hmm. um, I mean that covers a lot more than just classic cars. But the classics are a passion of mine. So either way. Somebody else on one of our one of our other videos. They're not on the live chat, but they have asked a question about one of the tr one of the how-to transmission videos. They're on there asking about a longer putting a longer shaft to tighten up the band more on their transmission. Can they not do that? And the problem with that is if you if you did come up with a longer shaft. And you, you pull that adjusting shaft out of the case. 
and put a longer shaft in there so that you could get more tightening on the band. There's not enough friction material on the band to make any difference. If, if you're adjusted that band down enough to where you're running out of adjustment, there's no friction material left on that band whatsoever. And all you're going to do is tighten it more metal to metal and do more hard parts damage. Hanno has just um, given you a suggestion. Google Free Sound. Google Free Sound. I will check that out. You have time. I haven't even finished exploring all the sound effects that YouTube provides, which there's quite a few there. But a lot of the YouTube provided sounds and music uh, seems to be I'm seem to be surfing through a bunch of junk trying to find the few golden nuggets. You know what I mean? It's a lot of a lot of junky stuff on there, but that's you know, pretty much useless in order to find the useful stuff that's on there. So, so I will definitely be checking out the Google Free Sound. Yeah, out of the romantic songs, we came up with, what, three, four? Actually, we found five good ones for the romantic songs. I thought one that, of them was for an and, older vehicle. And if you don't know what we're talking about, oh, yeah, 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 one of them turned out to be, uh, it was in the romantic area, but it turned out to be something that was just sounded great for some of this old 20s and 30s cars and I'm going to be using that in a future video. The the other ones that were underneath Romantic, you can hear those on our video from yesterday which is, let me see here, the car collection that we were exploring when you, we went antique shopping and it was behind the antique shop, the big antique car collection classic car collection not all of them are antiques yeah he says let's go antique shopping <laughs> well you found some good boots didn't you <laughs> well yeah <laughs> and at least there were antiques there besides the cars so I'll give you that there were some antique superchargers and <laughs> antique <laughs> Flathead engines and antique motorcycles. And uh, there were other antiques too. Yeah, there were. There definitely were. And if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you watch all the way to the end. We also found um, somebody's uniform in the antique stuff and then still had the papers in the pocket showing where his last ship out point was and his last assignment, the details there in 1973. So it's interesting to see, especially if you've got a huge military family like we do. We're up one more, Johnny Pro, thank, um, oh Johnny Pro's up one more from Joe Z, okay. I have no idea where we're at right now on our on our subscribers, we were at 1,000 when we when we started this this live show. We were literally right at 1,000 subscribers. We had just hit it this Sunday, February the 17th. So February the 17th, Sunday morning is when we hit 1,000 subscribers. To recap, we. <clears throat> All right, over 5,000 hours of watch time for the last 365 days. This past week, we exceeded half a million views for the page. Carol sold over seven insurance policies. That's more than one a day. Well, you can stop recapping. Yep. So. I think everybody is up to date. Yes, everybody here has seen I am repeating myself now, aren't I? Yes, you are. 
So, um, we haven't done a channel review. That's what we haven't done. Who wants a channel review? Anybody here want a channel review? We will be going over page headers, page art, um, thumbnails, that sort of thing. Giving suggestions. Josie says, congratulations on selling your insurance. Well, thank you, Josie. Luckily, not only not only the number of sales she got, but a lot of the people that she sold the policies to have been people we run into the car shows and the cruise ins and stuff. And every single one of them, she's been able to right. save them Josie over a hundred dollars okay, per in, year. So he's ready for his review. Okay, Josie. Let's see and what we can find out. Popular food wants one too. All right. Well, let's go to Josie first. Josie asked first, and then popular food. And that'll be our two for the day. We are now... No, that's not where to put it. That would be the Google search. We'd put it right here. Sorry, I'm slow, guys. Uh, wasn't born in the computer age. I was born in the Vietnam era. On base. There were not a lot of computers to go around. Everything was done with blood and sweat. Josie, I found the channel. Oh, I like that. It's a beautiful page art at the top right there. That is beautiful. I feel like I could just jump in that kayak and. It's a, and it's, there's it's two seats in that kayak too. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> and there's no, it's not two seats. I'm saying uh, that does well. Now it is. It is two seats. I was right. I was right the first time. Two seats and yeah, we could go cruising around I and look at that. I just let that him water paddle is. though. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she do at it that too. Big, strong arms. <laughs> okay. So, the only thing I see wrong with your channel art up there, the top banner, is that on mobile. And I know, and I know you can't see this through the camera. Let's let's, let's see if we get this around to where people can see. Let's see, Josie's. Page. Gorgeous. It is. It looks good. Let's straighten this back out here. But in the center, the center part of that photo is the only thing people are going to see on mobile. And it's going to be mostly just water. And most people are viewing on mobile right now. The Let's hit videos so we can see your videos. I, here's something that, that, that strikes me right away. Josie is mostly focused right now on helping other people out. Why do I say that? Because the first thing you see on his page where he's got stuff on his page is who he's subscribed to. This not only helps the other people get some exposure but it lets those other people know that he has subscribed to them, which is not only helpful, but it's smart, too. Uh, because in the first glance, they can see, oh, did this guy really subscribe to me? 
and and should I subscribe back or whatever? Yes, because it's right there. You can see that if he's subscribed to you, you can see it right there, right away. Who he subscribed to and and it, whether you're on there or not. Now let's go to his videos. Now see, he's not messing around. Look, there's lots of videos, lots and lots of videos. This is a lot of work. Lots and lots of videos. I see some repair videos there too. And congratulations, you're at you're at nine thirty eight. I mean you're you're getting really close. You're within that last hundred. Nine thirty eight. Yes, lots of helpful how to type videos and stuff. And those are <clears throat> when we were doing a lot of how-to videos and repair videos and stuff, those are still some of our most viewed videos. Those things do very well. It's very smart Even to do that. though I am so adorable, the how-tos are still. And so humble, too. And that's how humble she is. Of course. So, thumbnails. Now these are very catchy thumbnails. There's lots of information here. They really pop out. But one thing that we've been doing with our thumbnails lately that might help you is something consistent throughout each thumbnail, even if all it is is your face. And that's another thing too. That, that way they know that they're your videos. Yeah, even without reading anything, at just a glance, they know whose video it because is. Because your you videos want... are going to show up on a list when they do a search for whatever topic. Even if they search specifically for your video, a whole bunch of other videos are going to show up. So something consistent that's in every one of the thumbnails so that your fans will know right away it, that it's you. It could be a logo. Or it could be that when you when you do the type in something as far as your your text, you could always have a certain word or name or even your channel name or anything that's always on your thumbnails. Something that's consistently always on your thumbnails, the same thing over and over again, so that no matter which thumbnail somebody sees show up in the search, they'll know instantly that is okay, there Josie's are two children thumbnail. In our front yard. Trying to give Dakota a snack, and it's not a child. It's I guess it's the neighbors. Okay. They're, no, they're trying to get their dog. It's the husky. Oh, okay. So their husky came to visit our husky. Now they're trying to get their husky back. Yeah, well, I'm worried about baby being out there. Okay. I'm going to go out and... You're going to go check out that situation? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish this channel review. You go handle the dog situation. All right, guys, I'm back. Apparently, the dogs have to be taken care of. They've brought over friends, unauthorized friends. Now, about consistency on the thumbnails. So that could help you with your thumbnails. It could help you with the people that are already looking for your stuff. Find your stuff. It has helped us out with our watch time. Playlists. Okay, when I hit playlist, the first thing that comes up is liked videos. If you could do something about that, it would help you to put one of your playlists as the first playlist um, liked videos, unless you're wanting that to be first because I've noticed you got the helpful nature. You've got your subscribers. You put them first. When people come to your page, the first thing we see is is people you've subscribed to. So if that's just a continuation of that theme, you put them 
putting others first, then yeah, by all means, continue doing that. The uh, second one, small YouTubers to watch, yes. So I'm seeing a theme here of putting others first. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's like the late Zig Ziglar said, if you help enough other people get what they want, you can you can achieve anything you want. And that's I'm paraphrasing. It's not exactly word for word how he said it, but you can get anything you want if you help enough other people first. And it's true. It's a long term plan. You know there are other ways cheat codes you get things quicker, but as far as long term plan. That is the you best way to go. Little dog in because that other dog keeps growling at me and trying to chase me off when I try to get near it. Okay. You want me to do that while you finish channel review? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get the little dog. Wow. You look over, just look over these um, playlists that Jay Z has and okay. let people know what kind of playlists he has. Uh, it first started with his like videos, his uh, small YouTubers to watch. He obviously put other people first, and then and there's that's his playlist awesome. of stuff that's awesome. that, that he's doing to further help people by showing them how to do things. Chicken run, that looks interesting. You'll have to look at the individual video just to see what the playlists are about, and that lets you know. This was me eight years ago, broke and just getting out of the military. Now, this is me today owning an online business that did $725,000 in sales just in the last 30 days. Got some repair videos. Uh, lawn and tractor ma lawn tractor maintenance. Really, really awesome how tos. Those are always great. Now I am definitely not a burnt, bruised, or bleeding kind of girl. Here he's back. Here's our little delay. We had to rescue this one from the wolves. Oh, you're nasty. You need a bath. Guess what you're getting this afternoon, baby? Well, that's our family emergency. I guess when we bring the other wolf in, the, the wolf we have outside will go away. Mm -hmm. So, firewood splitting and storing. When I was 12 and 13, my dad ran a firewood company and I split so much firewood and rigged so much firewood and loaded in trucks and unloaded in trucks. <laughs> there are definitely things you need to know about how to do that to make your life easier if you're going to be doing that kind of stuff. So I was just telling them I'm definitely not a bur bruised and bleeding kind of girl. So Yeah. Really Chicken didn't run. have much of a comment on it. I have no idea how to do that stuff. So if I was going to do that, that would be very helpful. There's five videos in there. Honda Accord Repairs. That's a good thing to have if you have a Honda Accord. And repairs in and around the home. Yes, and leaky faucets even and stuff. Got tool That's reviews, which are awesome. Because very good. if I'm buying a tool, I just know what I know. Lawn tractor maintenance and repair. Okay, oops. Didn't mean to click on that. We don't um, actually play the individual videos. Of anybody on our channel reviews because we have a we have no idea 
what other people have on their videos before we watch that particular video and we have no not even any cussing or anything on our channel we would like to keep it that way um, you almost did the other day though. yeah almost uh, trailer conversions that's stuff that could be done uh, could be useful very useful and get basics tutorials I don't even know what that is <laughs> is my ignorance showing tire repair flat tire flat fix tire removal and tire mounting another thing that could come in handy especially if you're out here like we are in the in the Appalachian foothills and especially if any of that deals with doing tires on any of this lawn but the maintenance. big thing that I love about this uh, channel is he supports yeah he's putting other people first youtubers yeah, other people I, first that's very nice all right Joe Z keep doing what you're doing it looks like you're doing great and doing great things and the only thing I would change is put something consistently on your thumbnails so that it'll be easier for people, for people to, identify to identify that that you is your out of a crowd yep that that is your thumbnail even if it's just a little something in the corner that's some kind of logo you come up with or anything that can just let people know or just the Josie and, the Josie right or there. yeah just put Josie in the corner of every thumbnail something to tie those together and if you could get like the kayak or something to be in, the, in center, the center so that when people are looking at that on mobile um, that would be great too but it I mean it is gorgeous that is, is a gorgeous a scene great picture all right and we are going to go and do the last channel review for who was it that asked Josie yes we appreciate you too Josie coming the Honda drove me crazy <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. I've had a few of those. Drago's Ion is in the house. And popular food, is that hashtag popular food? Is that who asked for a channel review? Uh, he, he was asking if, if he put something on the thumbnail, if that would crowd it. It's just something down in the... Honestly, corner. honestly, some of the, some of the thumbnails are a little crowded already anyway. And same with some of our thumbnails. I don't think that's as important. You know, we can't do everything perfect. So um, the best we can do is the best we can do. And if it makes it a little crowded, so be it. It's still better than not having to tie in at all, if you know what I mean. If you have, and if it's something like that just says Joe Z or your name or anything like that, that's, that's, Less is more in that case. So then yeah. that would be less crowded. So hashtag popular food. Yeah, that's who we're getting. Hashtag popular food. And this is bad for me because I haven't had A food lunch problem? or haven't had... Uh, Poor woman, she's she's trying to slim down, lose weight, while hanging around with me. I burn calories like crazy. And so I have to eat copious amounts all the time just to maintain my weight. And she's trying to not eat while being around me. Well, I'm starving to death. So let's see here. One word popular. Oh, I put a, yeah, that's why I wasn't coming up with it. And I put the a capitalization of the F. Those things are important. 
That helps. I think I'm going to find it now. Let's see what we got here. And then we'll change to channel. Bam! There found it! Go. There we go. We have found popular food. Okay, yes. Channel art with this. And that's another thing, too. Both of these channels, the channel art in the top is very consistent with the content of the channel which is good they said well there you see there's food here and then it just says hashtag popular food which is the name of the channel and it's not too crowded and it just gets right to the point and one extra thing on here is that the hashtag popular food is centered in the photo and the photo is still pretty much the same when you go on mobile and it cuts off both ends it's still pretty much food now we look we hit videos to see just how many videos we have on here which tells me how hard somebody's trying if you're doing a lots and lots of videos you're trying really hard and and I lots and lots of videos, lots and lots of videos. I lots know and lots where of work. I'm going to come to get some very yummy recipes. And and I know this isn't consistent with your theme, but it draws my eyes. I can't help but seeing a, a Plymouth Roadrunner there, which I know I'm going to be watching that video later. It's, it's got somebody's got a Plymouth Roadrunner parked in front of a skills to change institute okay so but we know your channel is all about food and it's food and if you start doing a lot of car stuff you'd be uh, duck curry sounds leaving your core interesting yeah now see she's gonna end up cooking something off of here <laughs> so I hope your food is really good because I'm gonna end up eating it <laughs> spicy paleo that looks interesting I, I like eating spicy stuff because I have sinus problems and spicy helps. I also eat a lot of curry left over from spending a lot of time in Dojang. I don't know if I would do duck curry but maybe we could do that with chicken. Yeah, that would work. So this this tells you that these thumbnails right here they just jump at you and start giving you lots of ideas and stuff and drawing you in. That means that they're really good thumbnails. And each thumbnail I see is like a good photographic presentation of the dish that's being prepared. And the only thing I see here is on the other channel, they are consistent enough to where if there wasn't other people making these same kind of thumbnails, then we would instantly know they're your thumbnails. But there are other people making these same kinds of thumbnails where they show the dish and they are dishes. beautifully presented by the way which means there's really no way I can tell if if that was over here in a search bar with a bunch of everybody else's foodies there's no way I could tell that that is your video at a glance again we need something on each like, thumbnail um, that's consistent oh like this one says popular food hashtag popular you're right honey it says hashtag popular food right in the middle of the thumbnail now, if that was in a bar over here with everybody else's food thumbnails, I'd know, hey, that's Popular Foods thumbnail, and would click right on it. So, and, and people will do that, because if they're your subscriber, you're, and they're used to your stuff, and they've been watching your stuff, and they're looking up a certain dish, how to make it, and they see a, a whole bunch of that dish over here, and they see that you're thumbnails over there and it says popular food on it and, and they're like oh I've watched their videos before and, and I know they have all those other ones go right to yours yeah so your core audience if you the more the easier you make it for them to find you by putting something like that on each and every thumbnail that you've got either your your name like that or uh, some kind of logo that you come up with and put it on every video you got so that they can find you what we use is we normally either have a picture of 
my face or we're in the video or the our the picture with our two faces so that you can tell it's our video. Yeah, no, but no, you don't no. have to put your face on here. You can use that like you did with popular food or anything else you can come up with just as long just as it's something consistent. To make it consistent throughout. Um and that will help. And then it doesn't we'll, even really have to be that big. It, I think we I think they get the point. We we beat that horse it's bloody. <laughs> yeah, we've done that twice, haven't we? Yeah, we're getting a little long winded. Um the playlists. Yes. Look at how right. good the playlists are. These you got the are really vlog in one, the chicken stuff in another, kebab stuff in another, the popular food videos. Mixed videos. Rice on them, spicy. Okay, so and and five and one, two and another, sixteen and another. Now a lot of mixed videos. There's 48 videos in that playlist. Um, rice items three. Vegetable items, egg item, doll item. There's 11 videos of that. See, so yes, good. Busted a bunch of stuff up into 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 playlists. That's good. And I'm not going to say a lot good, about this. A lot of good playlists. I'm going to have to check out meat items, mm. especially. Now, there's some some stuff that's a little off topic, music videos and stuff, and other things. But that's showing we we have some of the same stuff. That's what, showing the the popular foods interests. Most of the videos are the core thing, the popular foods, and that is good. <clears throat> we all, especially in this early stage here, less than a thousand subscribers or right out of a thousand subscribers, we got some videos that we need to clean up off of our channel that are not core topic. We have that too, and we plan on porting those videos over to a different channel so that it's nothing but car stuff on our channel and that's but right now thing. we've got our daughter on there and other stuff and I would start with it and I think one of the I reasons think those are the first ones that are going to get moved right and I would start with uh, getting something consistent on the thumbnails that'll help you more than anything else and more than porting the other videos over to another channel and but it looks great. Good job. Hashtag popular food. Look forward to looking at some more of these videos. Yeah, you're gonna be eating a few of those. I definitely will. <laughs> now so, let's let's Josie get caught up. Says, yeah, let's get caught up in our chat here. Chat yeah. here. The thank yous. Fifty five videos. Yes, you have a lot of a lot of good videos there. Who's Olu in the house? Good to see you. Up to the food. Thanks. Thank you. Give us something to do. <laughs> yep. Yep. Make it interesting too. And Josie says, Drago's Ion, congratulations on passing the 1K. Yeah, Woo yes. that is the theme for today. Passed it this morning. Awesome. Oh, well, yeah, I will definitely be cooking him something out of that. So we'll let you know how it goes. We'll, we'll put a comment in your video of the dish that we use and try out. He bought me for Valentine's Day uh, candies mm -hmm. and one uh, my uh, one of my little Rottweiler stuffed Rottweilers. And if you know me at all, you would know that with the frivolous, I also appreciate practical. So he bought me. An entire cook set, cookware set, um, my of uh, T fall, and 
then I am going to be using those to cook those yummy recipes, popular, uh, hashtag popular food. Yeah, you were looking for an excuse to break out your new cookware and do something with it, weren't you? So yeah. that's going to work out very well. You'll be doing one of the hashtag popular foods dishes on your new cookware. And Joe Z, I will be looking through your, the first thing I'm going to hit is your Honda repair videos and see what you're struggled with on that Honda. I know those things can be very frustrating. Pusa Studios in the house. Hello, Pusa Studios. Those are some, those are some high quality professional looking videos. And Pusa Studios has one video that is a train with these huge long Oh, oh yeah, you yeah. remember that one? Uh -huh. Yeah, the huge long windmill blades. Yeah, that seemed to just go on forever. That was that was wild. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, um, Pusa Studio, since you're new here in the chat today, we have covered, since we opened up the live stream, and we're going to be doing this every week, <clears throat> first we start with car news on the big three car companies, what was new with Ford, GM, and Dodge Mopar. Then we went on to the St. Auto page news, what all we did last week, day for day. Yeah, we're not going to go into that again. No, we're not going to recap that all again. Now, you can't there will tell be. him how awesome I am, though. <laughs> but he can see clearly for himself. <laughs> and and the uh, we went into St. Auto Stats and we talked about how awesome she is. She sold seven insurance policies this week. And we have, we all thanked TubeBuddy and Haggerty for the uh, for being so helpful because that's where most of our support comes from right now. Shout outs to James Cox, RT Life, Frog Tech Tips, and just a Stang, who was our 1,000th subscriber today. We hit 1,000 this morning. Oh, so, thank you. <laughs> she's humble, too. <laughs> Pusa so, Studio says you are awesome. So that that is the recap to see the details and see all that stuff you can watch the replay it's there there will be a replay w unless something goes terribly wrong like it did the last the Wednesday's live stream I don't know if the replays on there or not I'm not sure I was kind of new to the live stream and I'm not sure what happened with that replay I'm not sure if it's even on there because uh, I can't see it on my list but I did last Sunday's live stream. It is on there, and I can see it, and I can edit it, and stuff like that. So hopefully, when I close yeah, this one out today, I'll thing. close it out correctly, and we'll still oh, have. It. Can I see the picture? Oh yeah, of us when we were teenagers. This is when well we were nineteen eighty six. We were about nineteen here. Eighteen. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Because it was nineteen eighty six. Apparently. Yeah. Well. Unless I'm well, wrong. I don't know. I, well. I had I it was broken my leg in a motorcycle wreck. And mm -hmm. I got pregnant with our daughter. And this was Christmas. She was born in June. So. Here we are. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can. Well, let's look right here where you can see. I'll move this where you can see. Well, yeah, no, there's the, the delay. delay. There's the so delay. that was us back in the day. Still love him to death. And it was Christmas, so I had winter hair. <laughs> Lots of winter hair, you which had, I'm looking that forward was, to. That was your do, normal do. <laughs> Helmet padding. We still have that triumph, and you can see it at the end of several of our videos when we're doing shout-outs near the end of the video. 
is usually over top of a short video of the Harley and the Triumph. And that gets us to when we were talking about St. Auto News that we had done in the channel last week and what we're planning on doing. One of the things I did not mention, I'm going to mention now, is I have a new chest gear to put the phone in. I haven't even taken out of the package yet. And like I said, anything we get from Super Chats or any other money, the monetization money and stuff goes back into the channel. You get things like this, like the, the chest gear I put on the chest. And I can put the phone in here and record when we go. We can see Fort Mountain State Park through our living room window right now. And that's usually where we go. And I can put this on. We can take off on the Harley up in the mountains and we can record the ride up the mountain and there's pull-offs and stuff where you can see it's just like the when we go to the dragon's tail up near Gatlinburg oh it's but the he Dalton doesn't dragon's take me tail. up there that fast oh yeah well, I don't do a lot of fast stuff I got that over with when I was a kid and I did all my um, hopefully I'm done with all my emergency room visits and stitches and all that kind of stuff Try not to be burnt roof and bleeding all the time anymore. So we'll share that with you. We'll get some good footage. And Josie says I have a picture of me that looks like it was cut from that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Josie. Uh, Yes, the next one we'll be doing this again on the same time, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, 1400 hours on Sunday afternoons. And we're going to do pretty much the same. Um, we're starting out with the monologue, which includes the news for the big three American car companies. And my joke for the day. <laughs> And the, the St. Auto News from what we've done last week to recap over what we've done last week and the plans for the St. Auto Channel, and which none of this would be possible without y'all's support. And we really appreciate this. And that's why we want to do shout outs every week. And not only for certain people we do shout outs, but for everybody in the chat. We'd like to mention everybody in the chat's name. Like Johnny Pro, no more bleeding. Sounds like great advice, Johnny Pro. Yeah. I'm not sure I can live up to that. <laughs> and then there's uh, hashtag popular food. Auto Dreamer 77 in the house. Welcome. And we were just recapping about what we're going to be doing next Sunday, which is pretty much the same we did today. And then a uh, channel review and we will be still doing the channel reviews for free uh, yeah. the, auto, maybe the next couple of Sundays Dreamer just made it but pretty soon um, yeah, we'll be doing the channel reviews for Super Chats right. only better late than never absolutely absolutely and uh, hashtag popular food I think you're awesome you notice Auto Dreamers insignia has the running pony on the front of a Mustang. No, I did not. I cannot see that from uh, here. I don't have glasses on. So more pony, guys. Pony more. car, pony car. There you go. That is uh, her patented. Baby, you hush. Big dog outside. You can't go outside. I'll let you read that one. You're the romantic. <laughs> um, I usually don't share this. This is Pusa too Studios. Often. Yes, this is Pusa Studios. Uh, since you shared your photo, I thought I would share something about us. We met on a computer game in 2007. 
Well, I in Canada, she was in Aww. and been together ever since. Kids and all. Then we met in the middle. Once again, we, when we have a Viking wedding in Iceland. Oh, wow. So you had a Viking wedding in Iceland. That sounds awesome. In 2014. That does sound great. A Viking does. wedding. That sounds awesome. So how are I we going to how that. are we going to remarry? Now, of course, my if our Viking wedding would be would have to include um, a I'm having brain now, not just that, but uh, what what is the band I'm trying to think of? Um, see if I take a sip of coffee, maybe I can remember. Well, we're gonna have to have R2, the song Philip Phillips in it. His yeah, song, definitely yeah. that home by Philip Phillips. Mm. And Led by, Zeppelin. Which which song? Wouldn't now you're gonna make me try to remember the name of the song too? Yeah, Zeppelin. I know, I, I, was I, it I know you've been kicked in the head one too many times, but absolutely. Anyway, See, um, since you sh shared your complete story, um, Pusa Studios, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our story. Probably no one here knows. Um, we. Um, met back in the 80s, high school, got married, um, had our first child, and we divorced. And we remarried, divorced again, and we have always been connected I don't know how to how to say well, that. well the, the short version of that is I ended up in Tennessee and built from scratch the second largest transmission rebuilding facility there while you went to Peru and ended up running a small airline yeah and the, we were both caught up in that for a while and so, and then we had other relationships. We couldn't have got back together if we wanted to. And, but then when we did get back together, I was here. I finished a triple black convertible Mustang and it left with somebody else. <laughs> and by then she was back in the States and she was in Florida. And we've been talking for a while, and neither one of us was in a relationship at the time, and that was our chance to get back together, and, and we took it. Yeah. We, I was up here in the mountains, she was in Florida, and I went down there. She came up from Florida, and I went a little bit past uh, Atlanta, and we met at an exit on the freeway there, and took all her stuff and put it in my car and we've been back together ever since. Now Auto Dreamer says and as as far as the Mustang, he doesn't have one yet. He really wants one though. So that is a goal. It's good to have goals. You can't achieve goals if you don't have them. So yeah, you just got to backward engineer that. Now, on our SANE Enterprises, we're going to be talking all about that, how to achieve those goals. Because like I said, I'm running businesses. She was running businesses. We were apart. We 
all, both going to sales and management seminars, doing all this kind of stuff. We haven't just read all those success books and sales and management books. But we've lived it, too. And we've, we've written our own chapters in them. Yep, so we will be covering that kind of stuff on the same Enterprises page. And we will still be doing all the car stuff here. Now we have... Little Dog No. Okay. We have Big Dog and Little Dog. Big Dog is happily laying on the carpet. She says, I'm inside during the day. I'm happy. Little Dog, on the other hand, is uh, upset. He doesn't want to be in his bed. Yes, thank you, Pusa Studios and Johnny Pro, uh, for the compliments about the story. And thank you for sharing Pusa Studios and popular food. <clears throat> We're glad to have you all here. But I'm really running out of things to say. We have gone over everything we were supposed to go over. We've done all the shout outs and the channel reviews and everything. So it was great to see you guys. We're running, getting to the two hour mark and we're going to close this out. Yeah, I have to cook dinner. On her new cookware. Yeah. And uh, she's probably already got something planned for dinner which we will discuss off camera and if so if we don't use one of popular foods recipes we'll be using that next time and we have had a great time with you guys appreciate y'all being here and look forward to doing the next live stream next Sunday if we don't do another one before then even if we do another one before then we will be doing still doing the one at two o'clock Sunday afternoon so we get to hang out with you guys again and be sure to come back thank you so much for supporting our channel and, and watching Johnny our Pro, videos. thanks for the congrats and sharing our 1000 with us today yeah awesome mark it in your calendars folks we we hit a thousand today and it's all because of you guys. Appreciate it. Bye bye. As soon as I figure out how to turn it off. Yeah, that'd be nice. And I'll have to say bye-bye again.